One, two, three. What is going on guys? So today we are starting out the video. We're gonna be headed over to the meet. We're gonna take the Whipple S550. So let's go hop in here. It is very cold here in Florida. So let's go ahead and start this thing up. <laughs> All right, let's roll. All right, so this says it's 44 degrees out. That is really cold for Florida. I know you guys hear me complain about Florida weather. It's too hot or too cold, but I actually, I'm not complaining. I mean, that, that's, that's nice. If I was at the track right now, I would be so happy. But unfortunately, I'm not at the track. What you doing? What's up? The meat's out here. What? What? I can't, hear I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Oh, you got the doggy. What up, dog? What's up, man? Oh, you brought the right car. Yeah. Because that's here. I ain't racing nobody. You ain't racing nobody? I ain't racing nobody. I'm gonna race that. I'm gonna get my ass walked. But... <laughs> and I'm gonna film it. It's gonna be great. Sounds like a great time. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah, it's, is, right? it's cold, man. No. That's Denny. Denny? Oh, that's cool. I had the TT. That is quite the upgrade, that ass car. Everyone thinks I hate Camaros. Oh, I hate them, but it is I love the six gens. I mean, I would- well, Ironically, the two Camaros okay. parked together. <laughs> I would never own one. Okay, Zach's Camaro, I love Zach's. It is, yeah, okay, I give Zach Because he, he did very well with it. Um, the six gens, I really like. Again, would not own it. A Corvette? All day I would own one. That's how you know a girl was parking though. She can't park. <laughs> oh, I just realized I've been filming her park for uh, about 30 seconds. Yo, we getting some runs in tonight? Whew. There's a ZL1 that wants the uh, the sauce over there. The sauce from the middle. Not from this slow ass thing. See, the thing does not go anywhere. It's so cold and it's on those street tires still. Yeah, same here with this Mustang problem. This has 400 horsepower. That has 700. It. Okay, your car traps really high in the quarter. Yeah. What was your trap speed? 117. 117 stock intake manifold. I don't have anything done. Really. Off-road X pipe in tune, and a JLT cold air. That is badass mile an hour. If you want to know what my plan is, it's going to be Cobra Jet, long tubes, and E85, and whenever a faster car wants to run me, or thinks they're faster, I hit them with the 150 shot. There you go. There you go. All That's right. All right, so Quinn just got his Corsa Sport cap back put on. His 18 GT. Wait for the headers. Headers will make that sound like a beast. Where's the catless? I think I still smell the new exhaust smell. Oh, All right, I'm in here helping Nick out, update his SET, and he's on notification squad. There it is, notification squad. Make sure you hit the bell down below. Stockish 5.0 on a tire. I like to see that. Nope, not yet. Good thing you didn't do it. Let me know when you're ready. ready. One, two, three.
right, we are leaving the meat now. Sometimes you just gotta appreciate that coyote sound. It's so cold out, it spins with the slightest bit of throttle. It's insane. What is going on guys? So today we got an exciting video. I have an update on Nick's Coyote Swap project. As you guys know, or may not know, Nick is doing a Coyote Swap on his 2003 Centennial GT. And his car actually went from being a two valve to an NA four valve, then to a turbo four valve. He sold the four valve setup and he has been building a Turbo Coyote 6R80 powered car for about a year now. He's getting very, very close. We're in the final stages and we're gonna see what happens. So um, we are gonna head over to Daytona. I believe Nick is bringing it over to Sean and we'll give you a little bit more info when we get there, but he's gonna be finishing up the fabrication on the turbo kit. So let's go ahead there. And here it is, the Turbo Coyote Swap. I'm so excited to see this thing done. It's gonna be awesome. It does get dark here really early. And Nick has arrived. Gonna get hooked up to the trailer. Go drop off the beast. Damn, spot on. Uh-huh. Dang, you so pro. I know. I'm always. Yeah, he doesn't even have a camera in there. Shh, don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell them. Spot on. Ooh. Alright, gotta bring the race car to go get work done. Look at that race car. All the ponies. All the ponies and nowhere to go. Let me get the car. I'm just gonna take this home with me. Yep. See you Nick. <laughs> I'm just gonna borrow this. Right? This will go well on the Cobra. Yeah. After you spend another like two grand. If you need lighting, Henry, you put it up here. This is just the motor. If you need lighting, this has to go. This right? is your turn right here. This has to go right here. It's the only spot it'll fit okay. with the bumper and shit. With what? With the bumper and the fog lights. Right. So. Which you is have to fine, that. but it's gonna have to, yeah, it's gonna have to be. We'll have to add some. I wanna get rid of as many couplers, obviously, so. It's like a puzzle. Yeah. Right, if you look in here, it gives me all the room for the downpipe. For the way it curves up. Because it hugs the body inside. Alright, let's hop in here. I'm gonna wake everybody up. Sorry, but uh, it's, it's kind of loud. I mean, you know. All right, so I made it back from Nick's, and I guess this is just going to be a continuation from Wednesday. But right now, I am waiting for a friend to come over, and we're going to be doing uh, spark plugs on his GT500. Should be a pretty easy thing to do, so yeah. So, we got RJ here. We're gonna be doing some spark plugs on this thing. Yeah, just gonna dive right in. All right, I got all eight spark plugs out. Got them all right there. Gonna be putting the new ones in. And I guess we'll see if that fixes the issue. Hopefully. <laughs> all right, spark plugs are all done. Guess we're gonna go see if it fixed the issue.
know I'm showing the Jeep. 